Hello guys, I have yet again another LEGO CGI animation video. This time I'm going to be comparing um, LeoCAD with LEGO Digital Designer, and I'm going to basically be showing you how to build your LEGO models um, in order so that you can import them to Blender. Okay, the first program that we're going to use is, um, I'll start off um, with LEGO Digital Designer. Um, this is personally my favorite, though I use both programs for different reasons. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into this one first. So, Lego Digital Designer, I usually go into Digital Designer Extended. Um, you just gotta wait, and then you click, um, Free Build. And so, basically, this is laid out much better, I think, than LeoCAD. Um, you can see there's actual pictures, and, um, I can see this one's bricks. This one's rounded bricks. You know, this one slopes. So basically what you do in here is, um, once again, you're going to build your model. So let's say, okay, I want this 2x4, you know, I want this other brick. And now I'm going to show you guys how to edit these. Um, there's a clone tool, so you can clone your objects. There's a hinge tool, so um, obviously there's no hinges, but you click on the hinge, and it lets you change around in... Um, an angle. Um, the hinge align tool, that I haven't really used that a whole lot, but it lets you align certain hinges. The flex tool helps you like flex like stretchy bands and stuff like that. And the paint tool lets you, um, you click on the color that you want, say I want blue, and I can paint these blue. Or there's the color picker, or there's the decorator tool. Those are used for like heads and like minifigure bodies. And then the basic delete tool. And those are pretty much all the tools, except for the hide tool. The hide tool you can hide, and then unhide. I'm not sure. Um, that just kind of helps you um, if you want to see behind a certain object when you're building or something. But so, anyways, once you have your um, object, you're gonna want to click File, and then you're gonna click Export Model, and then here we go, and then we'll name it. Um, two by four brick and once again we are going to save it to the desktop just because um that's much easier to locate and make sure to change this is huge instead of lfx lxf you're going to want to change it to ldrawfiles.ldr since um none of these files are accepted in blender we're going to have to bring it into leocad and then export as 3d studio I like to use this just because it's much easier in building, so like I build a lot of my models um, in here, um, such as, oh, let's see here, um, not this, let's see here, Blender, LDD, um, such as, I just find it easier to build in here just because the parts are separated more easily. Um, but I'll show you some advantages to LeoCAD. So anyway, so once you have yours um, exported, we have ours right here. You're going to go into LeoCAD next, and you're going to open that. Make sure not to just double-click on the file, as sometimes it will not open. You have to physically go into LeoCAD and then click File, Open. And then over the desktop... And you can see right here in support, supported files dot ldr, which is what we just exported it to. And now we just wait for this to come up. Um, you can see that it's loading over here. Sometimes it takes a minute. Here we go. Two by four brick dot ldr. Open. Whoa, and it's really zoomed up for us. So um, anytime you're in LDD, you're gonna have to import it to LeoCAD. Um, or you can just build in LeoCAD, and then you won't have to. Then you can just go straight to Blender. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, um, in here, you, here are the advantages. What you can do is you can click, um, let's see here, where is it? Uh, piece. Ah, there's the minifig wizard in here, which is better than um, the version in... Um, Lego Digital Designer, because it has 
all the Star Wars helmets. Um, it's got like, everything in here. SW right here, that stands for Star Wars. So you can customize your minifigure, and once you have it, you can click Import. And, um... You can see. And then here's a good tool for rotating. If you click on the outside here, then it moves it, like, sideways and stuff. Um... But we're going to get rid of... Um, there's also the paint bucket tool here, the eraser tool. We can erase him piece by piece. Um, so then, you know, once you have your model brought into here from Lego Digital Designer, or just LeoCAD, you know, you click, we went over this. File, Export, 3D Studio. And then we'll name it as 2 by 4 Brick. Brick. Um, I might add... Um, uh, something on the end so I don't get it confused with the other one. Um, so save it to the desktop. Save. And now once more, um, you can see now our second file is here. And now we can go into Blender again. Once again, we're going to scroll this down. Right click, delete our cube, file, import, um, 3D Studio, desktop. And 2x4brick.cgi. Um, here it is once again. We can render the image again. And then I'm going to show you one more quick tip before I end this video. Next video is going to be animating. And um, a little bit more advanced inside here. Um, with different backgrounds and such. So one more video until we actually start animating. Um, which will be quite fun. Um, I'm going to show you one more quick tip if we make this black and then we scroll down we'll see stars. We can click on that and then we can click render render animation. We can now see that there are stars. And then actually if we move this lamp over we can shine some better light in this area so then you can see the brick better. Um, well, anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, maybe give this a like and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, please post them in the comments below, as I will answer them as soon as possible, which will probably be when, within hours. Um, so I thank you guys for watching again, and um, see you in the next recording. Bye, guys.